about to give them what they want. I don't think they're ready for this, though. Beast mode. 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 What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones representing Pulp Chasers. As you guys see, I'm rocking that About That Life hoodie. Be available very soon at beastmode316.com. Gonna have three colors for you guys. I'm rocking a large, but honestly, if I want my shit hugging a little more, I'm gonna rock that medium. <laughs> because keep in mind, your boy walking around here lean and whole ready, all right? So I want my shit hugging. I put on the medium, but I like the way this fits too. These are thin hoodies, perfect for bulking. You can wear them in the summer and in the winter. What I like to do is, I wear me a nice little stringer under. Once I get me a good pump, I pull this motherfucker hoodie off and show off my pump. You know, if I'm doing morning cardio and abs, I have to stay covered up. You tend to be real flat when you wake up fasted. Speaking of faster cardio, get your cuts FTS. Fat Burner, Thermogenic at TigerFitness.com, as well as all the other pump chaser subs. But yeah, waking up doing that uh, fast cardio, you know, you tend to be a little flat. Me personally, I don't like showing out my physique when it's flat, you know? So cover up one of these. So be looking out very soon, guys. So I actually got a DM. Anybody follows my Instagram stories, probably already seen me talk about this already, but. I received the DM and it inspired me to do a video. And the question pretty much was this. What have I done to enhance my mind-muscle connection? First and foremost, guys, mind-muscle connection, if you take it to the next level, if you really get really in tune, in tune with your body, it can take your physique to new heights. You'll even notice as you really get in tune with your body, really commanding your muscle groups, you can get away with using lighter weights and still get very similar results because you'll notice you're not using so much momentum. you notice you're really firing the muscles at will. That's a whole other topic for a whole other video. But long story short, guys, I've already talked about posing and I need to do more videos on posing. We should do videos on posing. We should do posing tips because let me tell you, posing it's really gonna help you get that mind-muscle connection as well. Think about it like this, guys. It's all mental. Consciousness is electric, which is why they have graphs, literally. They can measure your brain waves. So when you're flexing and you're squeezing your muscles, you're literally sending electric signals to your muscle fibers. That's literally a workout. Don't forget, guys, we have negative reps, eccentric. We have concentric reps, which is typically when you're going against the resistance when you're coming into a squeeze position. And then you have isometric static holds. Okay, when you're staying in place. And that's why posing is so powerful because you're putting isometric static holds, stress on your muscles using the power of your mind. You know, so we'll talk about that in, in some future videos. But what has really helped me, believe it or not guys, what has helped me tremendously is when I went to Amazon, and bought that skeleton to do those tutorial videos. I wanted to do tutorial videos for you guys and I kind of wanted to have a skeleton to kind of give you a, a, a physical, visual representation of the joints, right? And let me tell you, that shit took me on a fucking journey. Now, without going too deep into the hippie shit, regardless of your fucking feelings, we have a third eye. Point blank period. You know, I hear some people say all the time, the third eye is demonic, all this and all that. The third eye is a scientific fucking fact. Just like we have two eyes right here, we literally have an eye within our brain. You literally have a third eye. The human body is a fascinating, beautiful creation that was created with a formula. And with that said, nothing on our body is without a purpose. Everything has a purpose, including that third eye. Just like your testicles have a purpose, just like your kidneys have a purpose, everything on your human body has a purpose, just like externally, right? We talked about in my video about four things you should stop doing with cutting, and we talked about how you have those 
external voices, you know, those naysayers. And then you have those internal voices, you know, the voices in your head that could be trying to talk you out of your goals. Well, we have external images and we have internal images. Just like you're looking at me with your eyes externally, you can close your eyes right now and images can be inside your mind, your mind's eye. You know, guys, it's not a coincidence when we're dreaming. Those dreamings, those, those dreams feel very real. There's colors like a movie. You literally have crystals inside of your brain. Those colors come from somewhere. So we have images within us. Think about the word imagination. Let's break down the word imagination. You know, one of my favorite quotes by Einstein is, I'm pretty sure I'm paraphrasing, but I'll put it on the screen. You know, one of the most important things to have is an imagination. Now let's break down the word imagination. Nation is a place, point blank period, regardless of what you, you know, you want to label things as, you know, you might think of a nation as some kind of government or a state or whatever, but let's just break it down. It's simply a place. So let's go to imagine in, right? Imagination, image in, that's the images within, right? The images within your inner world, there is literally a world within you. So imagination is very important. So what the skeleton has done for me, guys, it literally enhanced my imagination. You know, playing around with that skeleton, being able to stand next to it, be able to stand behind it, being able to stand in front of it, being able to touch it, move the arms. It really helped me with my imagination. When I'm curling dumbbells in the gym, I can literally, with my mind's eye, I literally see the elbow extending. I literally see the, the elbow flexion. You know, the elbow extension, the elbow flexion. I can literally imagine slight shoulder flexion because remember this. Every muscle group has an origin and insertion point. Everything comes from somewhere, right? Everything physical comes from somewhere and your muscles are no different. Each muscle group has an insertion and origin point. So, perfect example, the biceps. Let me get this hoodie off, man. Yeah, you see me whole ready. <laughs> All right, so perfect example, the biceps, guys. Even when I was a young lifter, I would always imagine here, because this is what we see. We see the bicep here, right? So when I'm curling, my mind is here. But playing around with the skeleton, and of course being a trainer, you find out that the insertion point is actually below the elbow at the radius bone. And the origin point is in the shoulder area, actually in the scapula, right? The long head and the short head originate at the scapula. So it goes from the scapula all the way down to below the elbow. So when I'm curling, I'm not thinking here. I'm thinking here. And believe it or not, when you're curling and you're putting your mind here, it changes the game. It gives you different leverages and it gives you an overall better peak contraction when you're visualizing the point of origin, point of assertion, and you're fully aware of the function of the joints. Each joint has its own specific path that it moves within. You know how you look up in space and each planet has their own path, right? They literally have their own set path. That is exactly how your joints are designed. Each joint has its own specific path, its own degree of motion. So which is why you see a lot, a lot of people getting hurt. A lot of people are getting hurt because not only are their patterns off, their patterns are off and they're adding resistance to that. So, yeah, so like I was saying, incorrect movement patterns, shaky reps, and you're adding stress on top of that with weights, it's just asking for an injury in the future. It's just asking for joint pain in the future. You know, so again, getting very acquainted with that skeleton, it really boosted my mind muscle connection. It enhanced my mind muscle connection, guys, because quite frankly, it enhanced my imagination. And of course, 
anytime you enhance your education, though, it's not just some fortune cookie slogan. Knowledge truly is power, but there's several forms of knowledge, which is why you got to stay aware. Sometimes you think you're going through a bad time, which you probably are, but you're learning lessons while you're going through that time. So stay aware even through the storm. There are so many lessons we learn all the time, and you may not be aware of those lessons. But yeah, knowledge, guys, is power. Just being more knowledgeable at anything, especially in bodybuilding, you know, we're using our bodies. So if you enhance your knowledge of the, of, of the physical body, and the skeletal structure is the foundation of the body, you're going to put yourself in a situation where you have all to gain, but nothing to lose. And another tip too, guys, I'm not telling everybody on this video to buy a skeleton, but let me tell you something. Hey, Bruno. <laughs> But look, I practice what I preach, guys. You see it right here. Practice what I preach. Let me take y'all upstairs for a minute. I like to call this the, the hippie room. I don't come in here often, but this is my hippie room. Got a little mirror to check myself out, doing some posing. But look, guys, take my word for it. This will enhance your mind muscle connection. Just standing here touching this thing, man, looking at it real good. And it's a constant reminder to make sure my form is good. And remember I told you, each muscle group has a point of origin and insertion. Get acquainted with those. And trust me, guys, I already know. Learning something new, just like cooking for the first time, just like going to the gym for the first time. You can get overwhelmed and you can get intimidated, but trust me, we're in a different age right now. There's literally a YouTube video explaining the function of every muscle group. There's literally a YouTube video explaining the point of origin and insertion for every muscle group. So you can learn in little to no time without even having to pick up a book. So again, guys, you don't have to get you a skeleton, but trust me, if you're really serious about bodybuilding like I am, I love this shit. This is like my fucking religion. I love this shit, and I want to be the best I can possibly be without using any steroids. And let me tell you, getting that skeleton, playing around with it, watching some YouTube videos, learning a little bit about functions, origin insertions, it's going to boost your connection with your mind's eye as you level up in knowledge you will level up in understanding. As you level up in knowledge, you will level up in understanding. You'll build a connection with your mind and your body. Your mind and your body. Remember, mind, body, spirit. You got the mind, the mind's eye. Obviously, the physical body. What's left is the spiritual energy. You're gonna literally feel that energy. Close your eyes. You're gonna literally feel that energy flowing through you. It's gonna be guiding you because your mind's eye is going to have a visible, a, a, a visible physical representation of what it's trying to do. So there it is, guys. Don't forget, Bop That Life Hoodie will be dropping on BeastMode316.com very, so, very soon. I got the programs on there, downloadable programs that are high in volume, downloadable fat loss meal plans, and I still offer online macro-based coaching. You already know, guys. TigerFitness.com for the Palm Chaser subs. And... You already know, palmchasers.com for your lifting gear. We got the wrist wraps, belts, and lifting straps. Guys, protect those wrists. We were just talking about joints. Protect those wrists. Stop playing. 10% off code is pump 10 at palmchasers.com. One more thing, guys. I'm going to be in Tennessee, August 26th and August 27th. I'm going to be out there doing some business in Nashville, Tennessee with Mark Lobliner. And we said, fuck it, man. Let's do a meetup. Let's hang out with the people. Let's, well, I want to call it a meetup, open gym, right? It's going to be open gym. Whoever want to pull up, get a pump, take some pictures, ask questions. You want your physique critiqued, pull up, all right? I'm going to be at this gym called Carbon Culture. It's the one off of Royal Oaks, okay? That's going to be Friday. I'll have the times very soon. We haven't confirmed the times yet. I'm just letting you know. Friday night, we're going to be at Carbon Culture. August 26th and then Saturday it's gonna be around noon again I have the times for you guys I'm just letting you guys know so you can plan ahead if you want to pull up it's gonna be in Murfreesboro Tennessee and at a gym called Olympus gym so that's Friday and Saturday we're gonna do be doing some open gyms pull up get a pump take some pictures 
ask some questions. You already know me vlogging. I'm going to be vlogging out there. So, hey, pull up, man. Come say hi. I sure would love to meet you guys, okay? And I plan on going to some other states and some other up and gyms. I get DMs and emails all the time from people who own gyms, want me to come to their gyms. And I think it's about that time to uh, get myself back out there, shaking the hands and kissing the baby. So if anybody want to meet me, it will be my honor to meet you and I, I would love to see you guys, all right? Well, anyway, that's the end of this video. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, holler back at your motherfucking boy. Peace.